It was definitely the most intense thing I've been a part of. When that motor shaft is hooked to a fan that's about 30 foot across, there's a lot of force behind it. Well, think about how many other industries has cooling tower. Someone said, well, this can apply to us too because we don't want to keep exposing our employees to a rotating shaft. We were called in to replace the cooling fan on one of our cooling tire motors. We did our normal lockout, tag out before we went up there. We had to take the cover off the back of the motor to gain access to stop the rotation of the shaft. We did our normal using a board to get it to stop. The way we used to stop the fan was we would take a two by four and press up against the drive line until it stopped. At that point in time, we put a strap on the shaft so we could secure it, so we could perform our work. And then we would have to tie it off to keep it from spinning again. It was the industry standard and the only option that we had at that time. The shaft started to rotate again, and the tech that was with me, his fingers got entangled in the strap. It was pulling him towards the motor. He asked for help, and I turned around. I was able to stop the shaft again before freeing his hand. And it can be very deceptive. You can think that you could just stop a drive shaft for a fan real easily, but with updraft, it's extremely hard to stop. It was scary knowing that you're doing everything you can to help, but you don't know if it's going to be enough before serious injury takes place. We as a group got together and did an incident investigation. We realized that there are many things we can change. When you start calling people or looking online, it's kind of a standard to use a 2 by 4 which doesn't sound real great. What we ended up finding was a lot of help from vendors. They shot us some what they'd seen and what they could install for us that could have prevented this from happening. Nathan really took the initiative to say, you know, I think we can still do better. He was going out and looking at power plants, even refineries, trying to see what we could do. So we had two styles we could go with, um, a disc brake type system or a mechanical lock brake that you can externally you know, put a handle on. We have guards on all of our couplings. So when the motor's running, that shaft's spinning, you can't walk up there and put your hand in there and, and get caught up into it. So our clamp you can engage without removing the guard at all, which obviously helps. You don't have to worry about uh, bringing an assembly up there with you. No strange tools. Buddy looked at that and then we did a little customizing on the brake itself. Now we have the longer handle, which goes through our guard and, and we can apply the friction needed. It took a lot of time to communicate with the vendors first and tell them we like this but we need to do some modifications to the design that you have because we want it to make it work for our specific situation which is we don't want to remove the guard. We care more about not exposing our employees to the rotating shaft. What was interesting to me is that when people normally have these brakes on their cooling towers, it's it's in an area that has hurricanes. So we're just using it for something a little bit different. This was really the most simple option that, that I found. It's a simple clamp that closes, and as it closes, it applies some friction to arrest that rotor. We could have had a very intricate piece of equipment that would have caused more issues, but it would have been user-friendly for either department. One of the reasons why we selected this is because the simplicity of it. It doesn't take a lot of work or a lot of time to install, and the end outcome is extremely desirable. We definitely work together with the vendor, and they uh, definitely like our ideas. And now they are marketing this not only as a hurricane stopping device, is also a lock device. So they are marketing this also in both ways because they saw the benefits while working with us. It's a much safer way to stop the fan instead of using the board. You're using mechanical advantage on the shaft that's secured instead of having your two by four. It is a foolproof system as far as securing the fan from rotating. We would hope that it could be a CF-wide thing. Hopefully we prevent an, an incident in the future at our other sites. CF leads the way. We try to look at a problem and don't try to prevent it by just putting a Band-Aid on it. When you know that you did something that it impacted the whole industry, how to stop a fan, I think it's just awesome. It, it feels great. What I really like to see at the end of a project is something that's simple that people can understand quickly and easily 
and that don't give you a lot of bumps in the road. And I think that's what we accomplished. At CF. At CF. We do it right. We do it right. At CF Woodward.